Good morning, everyone. Welcome to live stream. Greetings to you from PNG Port Mosby to the nations of the world. I want to welcome you this Sunday to a special session this morning with the Lord and with me to the nations of the world. And greetings to Egypt, all the Middle East countries, China and Russia, to the South Pacific, to South America, to South Africa and Africa and to North America, all the people in the U.S., everywhere, Canada, everywhere around the world. We want to give you special greetings from PNG. And welcome to live stream. Today, we're going to talk to you about honoring his covenant and obeying his voice. Obeying God's voice and honoring his covenant with his people and your covenant with God. A covenant is a contract or an agreement between two people. And it is required that the two parties must always honor the covenant at all times and at all costs to make the covenant work for each other. When one party breaks the covenant, then the other part is not obliged to honor it. So it is very important that each party must honor the covenant or the agreement so that the covenant can work. The great God of the universe, the master of all creation, the father of life, and the fountain of the life, has made a covenant with his people in Israel. And that covenant can become your covenant and my covenant too. Because Israelites are not his people only, we are also his people too. And if you are born again, you are saved and you have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart and you are living in righteousness, holiness and purity and you are living in the spirit, walking in the spirit, and your life is controlled by the spirit and led by the spirit, you are his covenant partner as well. And therefore, this word is very special for you this morning and to everyone that's watching live stream from all over the world. I want to give you a very special scripture. In Exodus chapter 19, verse 4 to 6, it says something like this. You have seen what I have done to the Egyptians. How I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people for all the earth is mine. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. So this is a covenant the Lord made with the people of Israel at Mount Sinai. And this is also what indeed in Exodus chapter 24 verse 7 to 8. Then he took the book of the covenant and read in the hearing of the people. So this is the covenant. Listen to this covenant. Then he took the book of the covenant and read in the hearing of the people. This is Moses reading what he had written down what God has told him to write down and he's reading this in the hearing of the people. And they said, all that the Lord has said, we will do it and be obedient. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the covenant. I'm reading to you the covenant 
that God made with the people of Israel and Israel made with the God of Israel. And this is what God told them. You saw what I did to the Egyptians, how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. This is what God is saying to the people of Israel. And then Moses is reading all the commandments and laws to the people of Israel. And after he has read them to them, this is what they said. We will do and be obedient. That's the covenant. God is expressing his heart to the people of Israel. What he wants them to do and what he expects them to do. And after Moses has read out the heart of God, the word of God. Then the people responded, all that you are saying, we will do and obey. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the covenant. And to seal that covenant, Moses took blood and sprinkled it some on the altar. And some he took blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, This is the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you according to all these words. So, Jesus, so Moses took blood and sprinkled it on the people. Some he sprinkled it on the altar. And the blood is now landing on the people. So it is not an ordinary covenant. It is a blood covenant. A blood covenant means only death can separate the covenant. Only death can break the covenant. Because it's a blood covenant. You can see prophets die saving God. You can see the apostles, they died for the name and for the sake of the gospel. Why? Christ said the New Testament blood, not like the animal blood, but precious, pure blood of the lamb. So it's a blood covenant. The Old Testament was sealed with animal's blood. But the New Testament is sealed with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, we obeyed the written laws. In the New Testament, we also obey the word of God. At the same time, we obey the leading of the Holy Spirit. And Christ gives direction to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives direction to us. So the Holy Spirit takes the word from Christ. And Christ gives his word to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives the word of Christ to us. And this is what he said of the Holy Spirit. He shall take of mine and declare them to you. He will glorify me because he will take of mine and declare them to you. He will show you of things to come. I will send you another helper. Who will teach you all things and make you remember all that I have taught you. So Holy Spirit is our director now, our teacher now, our helper, our comforter. To guide us to honor the covenant, the blood covenant of Jesus Christ that, we, that is set for us at Mount Calvary. So we are obliged by the blood of Jesus Christ to obey the leading of the Holy Spirit and to obey God's word. We are covenanted. The Old Testament was covenanted with the blood of animals. A 
And uh, it is required that God honors his covenant partners. And uh, his covenant partners must always honor God. And they must always do what they say they must do. And keep the covenant at all costs. Then the covenant will work for you and work for God. In the covenant are the promises of blessings and curses. If you break the covenant, you will get this list of curses. If you obey the covenant, these are the blessings. And so, with the agreement are the curses and the blessings. If you obey and honor the covenant, then I will do this to you. And you will read the blessings that are written down. And if you disobey my covenant, I will do this to you. So the curses are all written down. So Israel knows that if they constantly obey God, then God is obliged. God has tied himself to honor the covenant and bless Israelites. If the Israelites break the covenant, then they will receive the curses. So, I want to show you something. In Mount Sinai, on Exodus 19, 18 to 20, Mount Sinai was filled with dark smoke. And the smoke that came upon the mountain was like the smoke of a furnace. And there was also fire in that smoke in that mountain. And the Bible also says the earth quaked. The mountain quaked. And there were trumpet blasts. And the trumpet blasts were getting louder and louder and louder. Now when Israelites saw the cloud, they never saw someone blowing the trumpet. So my question is, where is the trumpet coming from and who is blowing the trumpets? Because what Israel saw was the clouds and they never saw a trumpet or somebody blowing a trumpet. All they saw was the cloud and the fire, the smoke. Ladies and gentlemen, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, there shall be no more time. And the Lord will descend from heaven and he will come with his archangels and they will blow the trumpet and then the Lord will send the angels to the four corners of the earth to gather the elect. Who are these people blowing the trumpet? Everybody shout, the angels. The same angels say, one day when you blow the trumpet and the sign of the Lord will appear in the sky. And he will send these angels to the four corners of the earth to gather the elect. Matthew chapter 24. You can read that. So these are the ones that are blowing the trumpet. So he mentioned, God of heaven is coming down to the earth and is descending on a mountain to sign a covenant with the people on the planet. Have you ever seen or heard of a God coming down to sign a covenant with the people on the planet? This is God, the creator of the world, coming down on earth to sign a people, to sign a covenant with the people. I want to show you something very special. God is saying two things in here. One, Obey God's voice. Obey my voice. And keep my covenant. You came today, this Sunday service, at 
Taroma here. If you're a new visitor who is listening also in live stream, you are putting your ears and watching me preach and talk to you about these two things. Obeying God's voice and keeping his covenant. If you obey God's voice and keep his covenant and you commit yourself to do that, this is what God will do to you. I want everyone to pay attention and listen to me carefully. This is what God will do to you if you obey his voice and keep his covenant. You have seen what I have done to the Egyptians. How I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Now therefore if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant then you will be a special treasure to me special treasure to me why will he make you become a special treasure to him because you do two things these two things you do will make God make you a special treasure to himself. You don't have a lot of things to follow. You need to do two things. One, obey his voice. Two, keep his covenant. Keep his covenant. When Moses read the word of God, the people said, yes, we will do, we will obey and he sprinkled the blood on them. That's what you need to do. Obey his voice and keep his covenant. If you do these two things, God will make you become a special treasure to himself. And not only that, you shall be unto him a kingdom of priests and a holy nation, a holy nation. The word holy means no sin, righteous, pure life. That you shall be to God a kingdom of priests and a holy nation if you obey his voice and keep his covenant. What is the covenant? Yes, we will obey you and we will do all that you tell us to do. That's the covenant. And I want to tell you, the audience that are in front of me, and the whole world, that if you can do these two things, God will make you a special treasure to himself. And I want to define the word treasure. Who is excited for that this morning? The word treasure means something very precious, something that is of great value, something that is so valuable, like money, jewels, like silver, gold, diamond. And because it's so valuable, People put those valuable things in a safe place where their treasure is protected. Number two, treasures are something that are so special, very important, so valuable and very costly. Another one, a person can become a treasure. Is greatly loved, greatly valued, and highly esteemed. And that is treasure. Now, I'm not finished yet. Listen to me now. In Matthew, chapter 6, verse 23, this is what the Lord Jesus said. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be always. Everyone listening to me, 
For where your treasure is, there your art will be always. And if God is saying to you, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Remember what Jesus said, for where your treasure is, there your art will be always. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, those who are watching me here in front of me and the world. What is God saying to you? Where your treasure is, there your art will always be. What God is saying to you is this. If you make obedience become a business, and if you keep his covenant, what God is saying to you is this. Where his treasure is, there his heart will be also. Hello. Hello. As some of you got it and some of you haven't. And you're watching me with great amazement. Because you think that God cannot make you become his treasure. Hello. But this is what God is saying. If you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then I will make you become a treasure to me above all people. Above all people means you will be the most outstanding human being on the planet. You will be a head taller than everybody, a shoulder taller than everybody. Everyone will be wearing green clothes and you will be the only one that will be dressed with yellow clothes. Yes. You will be a special treasure. Not the ordinary treasure. A special treasure unto me. And Bible says in Timothy, in the house, there are all kinds of bowls and dishes. Some are for ordinary use, others are for special use. Special means they are not commonly used for ordinary occasions. They are what you call reserved. Hello? And so, the two things that God wants you to do and expects you to do will make you become a special treasure to himself. And where your treasure is, there his heart will be also. So if God is making you become his treasure, because you are doing the two things, obeying God's voice and keeping his covenant, if you do the two, God will make you become his treasure. And where his treasure is, there his heart will be also. Come on, come on, come on, this is your Sunday message, this is the message for your Christmas. Now listen to me, some of you try your best all your lifetime to look good. And I don't discourage you from looking good. I try to look good. Every one of us try to look good. But you know, you always try your best to look really good and spend all the energy and time and you buy expensive stuff to look good. Why not you give all your energy to obeying God and honoring his covenant and see what God can do with that in your life. Now, what if a king, a king of a nation, what if a very rich man, wealthy rich man says, you are my special treasure. Now, when he says that to you, you will be in his heart because where his treasure is, there will be his heart. So, when God says, you shall be a special treasure to me, 
you will be not living on planet earth, but you will be living in the heart of God. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on, Papua New Guinea, Australia, Pacific, where are you? Come on, come on, Israel, Egypt, China, where are you? What are you listening today? Come on, come on. You might be thinking that you are living on planet earth, but you will not realize that when you begin to obey God, when you begin to keep his covenant, you might be thinking you are dwelling in Papua New Guinea, Australia, or Pacific, or around the world, but you will not realize that you will be living in the heart of God. Hallelujah! 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 I'm excited! Come on, that's, that's not good enough shouting here. Now, I'm not talking about a woman living in the heart of a man. I'm not talking about children living in the heart of the father. I'm talking about you living in the heart of God. says it very clearly. If you do the two things that I'm telling you to do, you shall become a special treasure. Not an ordinary treasure, a special. So special treasures are not left in the open. Special treasures are not left somewhere else. They are always put through some locked, locked safes because they are special treasure. So you will be locked up in God's heart. Hallelujah. Come on, give a praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let the musicians come up. Let's give a thanks to the Lord this morning. All the musicians come up. Let's give glory to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord at all times. Bless the Lord at all times. Join me all around the world to bless this God. You can dwell in the heart of God by doing these two things. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about you dwelling in the heart of your boyfriend. I'm not talking about you dwelling in the heart of your girlfriend. I'm not talking about money dwelling in the heart of you. I'm talking about you dwelling in the heart of God. And not only that, you're locked up in the heart of God. Come on, let's give a praise to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glorify the Lord this morning. Glorify the Lord this morning. Sing a song that will glorify the Lord this morning. Let's just worship the Lord this morning. All around the world, just join us worshiping the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Right at the back, I can see people putting their hands up. Right at the back, glorify the Lord this morning. For he can make you become a special treasure. Hallelujah. We bring sacrifice of prayer. Worship, worship. Worship the Lord. Sing the song you sang in hell in the this morning. You're awesome in this place. Yes, just worship it. You're awesome in this place. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Everybody sing and glorify Lord, the Lord. This you, are you are. Just tell him. You the Lord this morning. You are my God. Yes. Yes. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Yes. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. We bless you, everyone. 
just like that I just want to let those that are watching our life all over the world I hope the message blessed you this morning and I pray that you will keep his covenant and obey his voice and the Lord will make you become his special treasure unto himself and you will become a special treasure to him May the Lord bless you, keep you safe this week, and may you do the two things which will make God, make you become his special treasure. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you at the same time next Sunday. Let's just continue worshiping the Lord this morning.